Hey loves, how are you babies doing? I am doing good. Dolls, I am so sorry about this video taking so long to be uploaded, dolls. I'm sorry about that. I know it's been three weeks. Oh, my phone burnt out, dolls. I have been recording all my videos on an iPhone 7 Plus since 2017. That's when I started this channel. So it has been a roller coaster with that phone. I don't know if you dolls know this, but it has been staticky in the front, sometimes in the back. I have to clip out videos and scenes from my tutorials and videos and stuff because, you know, it will like frizzle in the front and then I have to hurry up and click that out. I don't know if you dolls noticed that in some of my videos, but it found out my phone was very, very, very old. <laughs> Seven, the iPhone 7 Plus is it's old. It's an older phone, so I, I you know me, I'm the type where I would use until it is dead. And that phone died on me, dolls. I was in the middle of uploading this video, editing and uploading this video, and it died on me. So I had to record the whole video all over again. I cried about that. I was what two weeks and a half without a phone i finally got me a new phone i upgraded Yay, iphone dolls it is the sx max it is a total upgrade from the 7 plus dolls i had to upgrade and get me a new phone dolls this is so much better no static no nothing i'm loving how um more improved the quality is in my videos and stuff so i'm happy about that i'm very happy to be recording again it was my it was nice to have a nice little break but i missed you baby so much and i'm so happy to be recording again so please excuse me i'm so sorry but I, my phone just decided to die on me and that really sucked so dolls if you don't know who i am my name is pinup savvy monroe i do pinup hair tutorials I do pin up hauls, I do pin up makeup tutorials, you think of it, you name it, I do them, retro anything, that's what this channel is about, so dolls, if you love retro pin up tutorials or anything like that, please like and subscribe and please turn on the notification bell so you dolls can get more notifications on videos. So dolls, if you are liking this look and testing those products, also, I want to show you dolls before we get into, you know, me uh, testing those products out. Rebel Rose Limited Edition Set Dolls. This sucker is huge. This is the PR package dolls. It comes with everything. So if you dolls are into PR packages like I am, this is the set for you. I was so happy when I got this dolls because, you know, PR packages usually... The company will send you those type of packages, but you're able to buy them on Wet n Wild, so I'm very, very happy. Dolls, do not go on eBay or anywhere else really to get this. I mean, you can go on Poshmark, but try to go on Wet n Wild because they they have these much cheaper. All right, loves. Now, first, we are going to start with the rose toner, and I am going to spray this all on me. And dolls, when I say this smells so good and refreshing, you dolls are going to love it. I love how it just refreshes the skin. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel... I love rose toner. I don't know, dolls, if you like toner. You gotta carry rose toner or rose, like, uh, like skin toner or freshener in your purses, but I do. And I recommend this one. It smells just like roses. So if you dolls love roses, this is it. Dolls, what I'm using now is the Rose Multi-Use Oil. It smells so good. As you can see, it has all the dead roses at the bottom, which I love. I love that. Like I said, I love rose. So this is going, I wanna, I can't wait to smell this. Now I am trying all this out, dolls. I have not tried this out yet. So you guys are first seeing me do it. So this is how it looks. And I'm gonna try this on my skin. It smells so good. It smells just like roses and it's really moisturizing. And you know, now that it's winter time, we're in quarantine, so your skin tends to get really dry in the winter time, especially for us dry babes, skin babes like myself. I have very dry skin, so this will help me help wonder. All right, so now next dolls is this Rose Primer Serum. And I like it. I think it smells good. It kind of smells like strawberries, even though it was roses. I had a quick smell of this. But this is what it looks like. It comes in glass bottles, and that's how it looks. So I'm gonna put some on my hands. 
Oh, and it has a little shimmer to it too. It smells really good. I think you guys will enjoy this. I will put this on my face dolls, but I already put my foundation and stuff and my did my eyebrows and everything. I think it would mess my foundation up. So I'm putting it on my hands, but this is how it looks. And it smells good. It has a strawberry, a hint of rose, but it has a little strawberry smell. So I think you dolls would like this rose serum. But I heard this goes, well, not heard, but I read this goes on your face. So I'm sure you dolls already know that. But for some that don't know about serums, this does goes on your face. I think you can put this in some other parts of your body. I may be wrong. So just do the research on serums. This is the lip scrub. It's limited edition. It doesn't have a name to it. But I am going to try it. This is how it looks. So I'm going to put this on my lips. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to do that. It has, it's a sugar scrub. So I'm sure you dolls know what that is. So I think you dolls like it. It is to get dead skin off your lips. It really helps, you know, bring uh, circulation, well, blood circulation to your lips. It also helps you get dead skin off. And for winter time, this will really help. So I'm really happy that it did that for my lip styles. I would recommend having a sugar scrub lip scrub. And I like that they include that in the uh, kit, in the collection, the Rebel Rose collection. Because a lot of collections don't include that. So it's really cool that they do. I mean, I like that. So I highly recommend that. All right, dolls, now we're going to this. This is called Tint of Corruption. And this is a lip tint. I like the way it doesn't even look like it will give you any color. It looks clear, but I know it's going to be a color, so. Uh-huh. Yeah, dolls, this is definitely a tint. You can tell. It makes my lips look like after you just wear a nice lipstick and you rub it off. So in case, you know, you just don't want to wear a lipstick, this can really be a good alternative if you just don't feel like wearing a lipstick. And it has a nice scent to it. It smells like rose. So yeah, I think she and you dolls will like this lip tint. So if y'all are into lip tints, this one's cute for you. It's called Tint of Corruption. All right, dolls, next we're gonna go into this cream blush. I love it, it's called Rose and Peace. It is a cream blush. I love the shimmer in it. I like the way it looks. Also, might I add, how dope is these brushes, dolls? It comes in with its own little stand and it pops right out, so it's just like this. Also comes like with a little eyeshadow brush. This is for the blush, this is for the eyeshadow. It comes with those little stands. This is so cute, dolls. I mean, this is so aesthetically pleasing to me, so I'm loving the aesthetic. It's just giving me that gothic, romantic goth rebel vibes that I'm just loving so much. All right, dolls, so this is the blush. I'm using the rose. I'm doing this, and then I'm going to get a mirror, and I'm going to put this on my face. I like the way this looks. It's just giving me that like tint of rose. It's not like too like harsh. It's just just enough tint to it. So I really like that with this rose. And I think you dolls will like this too. So yes, this is it dolls. I love it. It's a creamy blushy rose. And I think you dolls will really enjoy this rose blush. All right, love. So now we're gonna go into the lipsticks. Now we have four mattes, four high lip shines dolls. This one is called Bud Romance, Kiss of Death. Divian Damsel and Petal Poison. So I'm gonna try out these four lipsticks. Now I don't think I'm gonna put them all on my mouth. I might do that or I might just switch swatch them on my hands. Or I can do both, you know, it just depends. So I'm gonna start off with one and I'm gonna do the sh lip shines first. Then we're gonna go into the mattes. Love. So we're gonna try the Petal Poison, and this is a high sheen one. It's not matte, so if you dolls is looking for matte, this is not it. So we're gonna try it. Hmm. I like it. It is a mauve rose color, so if you dolls is into that, this is it. I like the shine. It has a good smell to it, and it goes on very smooth. So if you dolls is into smoothness, this is it. 
yeah so i like it i think you dolls will enjoy it that's more into like glossy lip uh glosses and lipsticks and stuff um it is called petal poison and yeah it is liquid cat suit i do love the packaging of it i like the metallic and the rose stamp on the um lid I also think that it's nice that they even tell you how much uh, ounces you're getting in this lipstick so you know you're getting your money's worth. And I think Wet n Wild did a good job on this li on these lipsticks. I highly recommend these and I think you should buy them for your own collection. Alright dolls, next this is called Bud Romance. Once again, I'm loving the packaging. It looks just like Petal Poison, but this is a little darker. It's more on the purple side. I also love that it has the ounces in it so you know what you're getting once you get the lipstick. Also, it's by a liquid cat suit, so I love that it has the package and the writing. I'm just, I just love their packaging as dolls. So if you dolls are into nice packaging, that's what I love. It really brings out the makeup when you buy, when you get nice packaging, you can tell it's nice quality. So let's try this lipstick out. Once again, it is a lip shine, not a matte, but I told you dolls how to turn a lip shine into a matte. So hopefully you dolls can take my tip. Um, this is more of on the rose purple color. So if you dolls is into more like purple, this is it. So we're gonna try it. Now dolls, I usually don't wear purple, but I'm liking this purple. I think this is something I would legit really wear. If I'm trying out different looks and lipsticks and stuff, because y'all dolls know me, I'm more of a red lipstick girl. So I think, you know, going out your element on your box, trying some new things, switching it up is a good thing too. It's not so sticky and stuff, so that's really good. That's quality and key. And I like that it is an easy wand. You can turn it off, turn it on. It's really nice to like do this, so it won't like. <laughs> The wine won't just come because I've had lipsticks and stuff that will literally come undone because it like the wine will just unravel by itself. And I like that this is it, just you can tell it's gonna stay put because of the like part right here that kind of clicks. So I like that about it. And once again, I love the packaging and I love that this is not sticky, it's not like like glop, like gooey sticky. I like that you could just do this. So that is really good, cause I've hate I've had to wear lipsticks and lip glosses where it was getting gunky and sticky, and I would have to wipe it off and reapply it, and it gets cakey. So that is a good major plus, and I really feel like Wet n Wild liquid cat suits are stepping their game up on their lipsticks. All right, dolls. So now we're going in with Divian Damso. It's a royal purple. As you can tell, the packaging is different. You can see it's black with the rose gold. It's the metallic gold right here, so you can tell how this looks. I like it. I like that it has the, you know, the um, ounces you're getting in these lipsticks, so that's really nice. So now we're gonna try them. And so this is how it looks on my lips. looks like you just gotta let it dry but uh, you could tell I like the royal purple you know I don't ever try a royal purple so this is really nice I think it looks like the Midnight Mermaid Wet n Wild collection that I have it's like similar to one of the purples in that collection that I showed you dolls this is really nice though dolls I'm really liking it I like that once again it is mattifying beautiful so you love royal purple i think you will love this color all right dolls so the last of the lipsticks is called kiss of death and you can tell this is like a burgundy color and you can see the packaging is black top with the metallic um roses uh, on the sides and in the front so i'm getting my words mixed up and so i'm gonna grab my mirror i love that it has the ounces on the back and of what you're getting in these lipsticks because I feel that's really important to know exactly what you're getting because sometimes the packaging looks so fancy you really don't get a lot of product. And I'm loving how it is making my lips look. applying this this is giving me a very dark off vibe I really love how this makes my lips feel 
It feels like it, it doesn't crumble. It doesn't feel hard on my lips, which I really love is key. When I was using a lot of Kat, Kat Von D's lipsticks, her stuff was literally crumbling on my lips. Some of it, some of her lipsticks was crumbling. But I like how this is not crumbling on my lip stalls. Um, I will say though that I am a little, it, it does look a little messy, so excuse that. Um, I do love the color and I love the burgundy, but I wish it was a tad bit lighter, but that's just my taste. Um, I do like it though. Um, it is Liquid Cat Suit, it is called Kiss of Death, but it is a sexy color, doll. So, y'all are all into that goth dark look. I think this is a really nice color. Um, I really would wear this, you know, now this is going to be probably one of my favorite burgundies. I do like it. And I like the way it makes, you know, my lips, you know, look bigger. I don't know, dark colors look big, uh, make my lips look more bigger for some odd reason. Alright guys, now that we're done with the lips, we're going to get into the eyeshadows. They come in three quads, so I'm so happy. I mean, there are three shadows and there's four quads. So I'm so happy with these shadow dolls. My favorite is Bed of Roses. I love the shimmery. It's just giving me a sexy wine color, so I'm loving that. The House of Thorns is very dark. It's giving me some burgundies, emerald greens. And then this is the Super Grande Rendezvous. And this is gold, burgundy, and a little wine color. So we are gonna get into these colors. So I love the shimmery color right here, dolls. On the, hopefully you guys can see it. This is nice, pretty shimmer right here. And I'm gonna swatch this on my hands. This is how the shimmer looks. And then I'm, I'm loving how that color looks, dolls. It's looking so pretty. So I think you dolls will love this color. This is how it looks. Now I'm going to take the burgundy color. And this is how it looks on my hands. I'm gonna swatch it. This is the burgundy. And this is more of a shimmer. It has a lot of like gold flakes on top of it. So that's what I really love about this. It's like two shimmers and two mattes. And then I'm gonna go with the dark purple. This is like a dark plum color. And then I'm gonna swatch. I'm gonna get it more swatch it. This is how it looks. So it's a dark plum. And now I'm gonna go with the dark wine color. And this is more, like I can tell, it's, it's more drying on this one. This color, this dark, dark uh, wine color, it's more drying. I'm going to put it at the top. And that's how that looks. So, I wanted to show you dolls with this. And yeah, I'm loving the swatches. This looks so cute, dolls. I'm loving it. This is how it looks on my fingers. So, hopefully you dolls have a good, you guys can see this really well. And let me know if my lighting is a little bit too bright, you know. All right, dolls, next we're gonna go into the car, the uh, quad called Secret Garden Rendezvous. This is how it looks, it is burgundy. I'm sorry, this is a wine color right here, like a mauve uh, wine. I'm gonna swatch that. And then this is navy blue, I'm gonna swatch that. This is how it looks on my fingers. And I'm gonna swatch both. Same time. That's how this looks. And then I'm gonna go with the shimmer. Now this is more of a gold foil at the top. If you dolls can see how this looks. This is more gold at the top. That's how it looks on my fingers. And I'm going to swatch it. It's more of a gold. I don't know if you dolls can see it that well. I'm gonna swatch. Okay, and then this is like the camel burden. It's a camel color at the top, but it has gold specks. So that's one thing I do like about this. It's like camel color, and it has like gold glitter on the top. And that's what that looks like, like a camel color. All right, guys, the last quad I wanna get into is, it is called House of Thorns. Now this is giving more, me more gothic, dark colors. I love the emerald green. This is how it looks on my finger. And then the shimmery gold. That's how it looks. I'm thinking this is more bronze. I wouldn't say gold, this is more bronze. I'm sorry, y'all. Then it's the pitch black, which I'm loving. And then the burgundy color. This looks so nice, dolls. I'm loving this color. I really think this looks so beautiful. And I would highly re recommend these colors, dolls. 
I'm kind of liking this more than the other one because these are so new. I'm going to swatch all three of these. And this is how they look in my hand. So I don't know if you can see really well the color. How it looks on my fingers. I really like these colors, dolls. I think you dolls will like this. So, I want to do a look with this with these colors, dolls. But first, I just want to try it, swatch it, play with it in front of you dolls. So, I want to come up with a look. And see, hopefully, you dolls will like the look I come up with. So if you guys want to see this look, please keep watching. And voila, loves, this is the look I came up with. Hopefully you dolls love this look. I really love how I used the bed of roses and the transitioning shades and I did the dark shades at the end. You dolls love this eyeliner. I really wanted a really thick and dramatic doll, so hopefully you dolls like it. Sorry about my hair. Honey, this wig has been giving me some issues lately, but I think I got her behaving now. So sorry about that. She was lifting a little bit. But yes, dolls, this is it. This is the look I came up with. I hope you dolls love this look. I had fun creating this look. And I also have fun showing you dolls the colors. Hopefully you dolls will want to get this kit. And this, uh, what I got is the PR kit. So they're still selling the PR kit. If you want the PR kit or the regular kit, they have both. Also, don't forget to, uh, to include a discount in there because they still have discounts on the Wet n Wild Rebel Rose set. So if you dolls want that, don't forget that set, dolls. And I hope you dolls love and enjoy this video. And I will see you dolls again soon.